Take a look at this panda. Do you think this is the smallest panda in history? Not likely, because the picture was generated by artificial intelligence, and the tiniest panda in history was about three feet long. That's very small for a modern panda, but it's a lot compared to the animals you'll see today, because they're real tiny. From a mammal weighing a couple of grams, and a snake that looks like a worm, to a bull that's smaller than a dog. In this episode, I'll show you these and other of the world's smallest animals. Let's go. Let's start with mammals. In our eyes, mammals are fairly large creatures, right? Some are at least the size of a house cat. Then there are the incredible giants like elephants, hippos and rhinos. But then there's the absolute opposite, like the Etruscan shrew. This is one of the smallest creatures on the entire planet. Its length does not exceed one and a half inches, and it weighs just a couple of grams. And it's a mammal. Because of this, scientists at first didn't believe what they had found. Before this shrew, they couldn't imagine that mammals can be so tiny. But nature knows how to surprise us. The Etruscan shrew itself surprises us. Though it's small, it's insanely voracious. Per day, it eats food three to six times more than it weighs itself. Why hasn't it burst yet? The whole trick is in the metabolism, which in the case of the Etruscan shrew works at the speed of light. I'm exaggerating, of course, but that's the gist of it. Its metabolism is so fast that the animal simply needs to eat a lot and often. Otherwise, it'll die. It's the same story, by the way, with the hummingbird, which is also one of the smallest animals on Earth. Kitty's Hog-Nosed Bat It's the Etruscan shrew's main rival for the title of the planet's tiniest mammal. Yes, in case you didn't know, bats are mammals. The kitty's hog-nosed bat is also known as the bumblebee bat, and this name's great because its size is quite like that of the insect. The bat's only 1.1 inches long, weighing a couple of grams. If scientists are not mistaken in the measurement, this is the smallest mammal on the planet. It's also one of the most elusive animals. They're extremely difficult to capture on camera. What's more, it's extremely difficult to even just stumble upon them because at the moment the population totals only a few hundred individuals, because of which the species is considered close to vulnerable position. They live in Thailand and Myanmar in caves, as bats should. Barbados Thread Snake When we think of snakes, we think of a rather long, creeping creature that hisses and cannot inflict a venomous bite. Such monsters are worth staying away from, but this snake is not dangerous at all. The Barbados thread snake is the smallest snake on the planet. It can easily fit on a coin or in the palm of a person and looks more like a small worm, which can be taken to fishing as bait rather than a snake. The maximum length of this tiny reptile is only four inches. At the same time, this snake is a predator like all other snakes. However, it does not eat cattle or alligators as anacondas, but only termites and ant larvae. So far, all the creatures you've seen have been at least a few centimeters long. What about animals that don't even reach the one centimeter threshold? Well, there are some. In 2012, a scientist discovered micro frogs in Papua New Guinea that surprised them. You bet. The length of a full-fledged adult reaches only 0.31 inches. Yes, yes, this is an adult frog, not a tadpole or something like that. No wonder these frogs were discovered only about 10 years ago. Imagine how hard it is to see such tiny creatures in the Guinean jungle. Like that snake in the guise of a worm, the Guinean frog can fit on a coin, and a whole group of such frogs can fit on a human palm. By the way, the new species is called Pidophrene amoensis. These micro frogs feed on small bugs, and they themselves are hunted by scorpions and Guinean invertebrates. Micro lemur Primates come in all forms. There are giant gorillas, chimpanzees, and orangutans. There are small macaques and baboons. There are us, after all. And then there's this little miracle. Madame Berta's mouse lemur is what they call it. This is the smallest primate on the planet, the length of the torso of which is about four inches, and it weighs about an ounce. Like many other lemurs, these record breakers can be found in Madagascar. During the day, they rest in nests of leaves, and at night they're active looking for insects, fruit, and other vegetation. 
Because of their small size, these micro lemurs have little energy, so they can go into energy saving mode. For this, the primates freeze for a long time and do not move. By the way, unlike many other tiny creatures, these micro lemurs are dangerous for humans. Scientists do not advise taking them with bare hands because these lemurs can be aggressive towards humans. Humphrey Okay, why are we just talking about species? Why don't we also look at specific, unique individuals, like bulls? What is a bull in our understanding? Personally, I have an image of a huge and powerful creature that a person definitely should not need to stand in the way of. These giants take down everyone with their horns, can maim bullfighters at bullfighting, and so on. But Humphrey is definitely not one of them. Look at this little one. In terms of size, he looks more like a dog than a bull. That's why Humphrey's in the Guinness Book is the smallest bull on the planet. He's less than 27 inches tall. Why such an abnormal size? Could it be a special case of mutation or something? Yes and no. In fact, Humphrey belongs to the Zebu breed. Bulls of this breed are characterized by endurance and strength and not by size. Usually their height doesn't exceed 3.2 feet. On the other hand, it's hard not to call Humphrey's case outstanding, because even by the standard of the Zebu, he's tiny. The bull lives in the American state of Iowa on a farm where he does his favorite things, grazes with other Zebu bulls in a herd, eats hay, and drinks water. Humphrey is not the only unique creature among large cattle, although large is not the right word in this case. Here's another record holder, or anti-record holder. This is a cow named Manikyam from India, and she too has made it into the Guinness Book as the smallest cow on the planet, of course. Or more precisely, the shortest. Her height is only 24 inches. For comparison, the tallest cow in history, a cow named Blossom, was almost six and a half feet tall. As in the case of Humphrey, the whole point of such small size is the breed itself. Manikyam is a Veecher cow that was bred in India. On average, their height is 31 to 39 inches, and they weigh about 220 pounds. This breed is considered the smallest among all cows in the world. Despite this, Vetcher cows are not prone to many diseases, do not know what parasitic worms are, and also give great and fatty milk. This particular milk is believed to have special healing properties. Some studies claim that milk given by Vetcher cows helps treat many serious diseases – diabetes, asthma, autism, allergies, schizophrenia, and heart diseases. Baluchistan Pygmy Jerboa It's worth traveling carefully in Pakistan because at any moment you can accidentally step on this animal. It will be very easy to do so because it's extremely difficult to notice such a tiny creature. The Baluchistan pygmy jerboa is the smallest rodent on the planet. Its body length does not exceed one and a half inches. Despite this, this jerboa is a natural-born champion in terms of jumping. It can jump almost 10 feet long. Imagine how much strength it has in its legs. For such jumps, the rodent uses its powerful hind legs for a push and its long tail as a balancer. Because of their limited habitat, their secretive nature, and their modest size, scientists know little about them. But they do know that these rodents are herbivorous, mostly nocturnal, social animals that live in loose colonies. What do you picture when it comes to antelopes? Personally, I have a picture in my mind of a rather large animal that lives in Africa and is hunted by everyone. That's why the antelope has to run away and fight back. And large antelopes may well be able to fight off an inept predator, but can these little ones do it? I doubt it. This is a royal antelope, and for lions or leopards, it's a rather a snack than a full-fledged dinner. After all, such a tiny thing weighs only 4 pounds, and its height doesn't exceed 12 inches. Royal antelopes live cautiously, always on the alert, and start an active life at night. Otherwise, during the day, they'll be found and eaten instantly. By the way, I forgot to show you the baby royal antelope. It looks like this. It could fit in the palm of a human's hand. It reminds me of a chihuahua for some reason. And since that's the case, I want to show you a dog of this breed. All chihuahuas are famous for their miniature size, but Pearl outdid them all. A few months ago, the dog with this name got into the Guinness Book as the smallest dog in the world at the height of 3.5 inches. Her length is about 5 inches. 
Such a tiny dog can be easily put in a pocket or a purse. And the footage with Pearl is next to recognizable objects makes us realize how small she really is. By the way, this is not the smallest dog in history. This is considered to be a dwarf Yorkshire Terrier owned by Arthur Marples in the 1940s. The photo has not survived, but there's information about its size. The height of the dog was only 2.7 inches and the length was 3.7 inches. The dog would have looked small even against Pearl's background. Anti-Record Breaking Fish And now let's look at this. Still remember those micro frogs that you could mistake for baby frogs? Well, that's the case here. What you're looking at are not fry, but adult fish. Fish of the Paedocypris progenetica species. These creatures live in Indonesia, are recognized as the smallest fish on the planet because they barely reach a centimeter in length. This also causes the unusual structure and features of these fish. Their body is translucent, and the skeleton of the head is so small that it leaves the brain completely unprotected. In addition, females can carry only a few eggs, and the male's reproductive organ is so small that it's able to fertilize each egg individually. Well, that's enough of these tiny creatures for today. Let's take a look at the most gigantic animals. Hercules Hercules is a great name for a record breaker, especially for one as big as this huge cat. What's that? A lion or a record breaking large tiger? Actually, it's something in between. A liger, a hybrid between a lion and a tigress. These hybrids are generally very large cats, and Hercules is considered to be the largest member of the feline family breaking all records. It was born in 2002 and already, four years later, got into the Guinness Book of World Records for its amazing size. Standing on its hind legs, Hercules is 3.7 meters in height and weighs more than 400 kilograms. Surprisingly, the giant Hercules is very active and agile. It's able to speed up to 80 kilometers per hour. Even cheetahs would respect Hercules. However, the record-breaking liger doesn't like to run. It mostly rests, digesting food. The champion eats a lot. It eats more than 9 kilos of meat a day and can consume about 5 kilos of meat in a single meal. As experts say, this is not the limit. Theoretically, Hercules can eat up to 45 kilos of meat and then it would get fat up to 700 kilos. But hopefully this won't happen. Let the champion be moderately well-fed and at least a little mobile. Barraville Hercules can be proud of the fact that there are plenty of amazing record breakers among its relatives. There are champions of their own among domestic cats as well. If you have a domestic cat, you can pause the video, measure your pet's length, and then come back here. On average, a domestic cat is about 50 centimeters long, so you should get about that number. Unless, of course, you're the owner of the Maine Coon named Barrival. This Italian cat is far ahead of other domestic cats because its length is 120 centimeters. For its incredible size, Barrival made it into the Guinness Book of World Records. The record holder lives in Italy with Cinzia Tinarello and Edgar Scandura. As the cat's owners say, despite its size, Barrival is a bit shy. Most of all, it likes to lie down, eat fish and chicken, and roll around in its carriage, surprising passers-by. As befits a star, Barrival has its own Instagram account, where the giant's life is followed by several thousand followers. Zorba in this episode, you'll find animals that will interest not only cat lovers, but also dog lovers. The English Mastiff Zorba is just such an animal. Unfortunately, it's no longer with us, but at one time it was a real star and a legend because Zorba got into the Guinness Book of Records as the heaviest and tallest dog in the world. In general, even one look at the giant is enough to understand it was really big. But how big was it? In 1987, when the Mastiff was six years old at the time, stood on the scale, the scale showed 142 kilograms. But this wasn't the limit. In November 1989, Zorba weighed 156 kilograms. At the same time, its height at the withers was 94 centimeters, and the length of the dog from nose to tail was 251 centimeters. These figures are insane, because even wolves weigh less. For comparison, the weight of the gray wolf, which is considered one of the largest animals in its family, is about 90 to 100 kilograms. The animal world never ceases to amaze. Record-breaking dogs and cats are just the beginning. All the most interesting is to come. Stay tuned to see a giant snail that's hard to believe exists. Find out what record-breaking boars you can meet on the hunt and see the record-breaker among all the record-breaking animals in the world.
record-breaking snail. When we talk about snails, we usually think of small mollusks that can easily be placed on your hand or even on two fingers. This is definitely not the case of the giant African land snail. It will be a success if you can get it on your palm because this mollusk is considered the biggest snail in the world. The shell length of an adult snail usually does not exceed 5 to 10 centimeters, though some individuals of more than 20 centimeters are known. Among them, one individual is known to science that weighed 900 grams and was 39.3 centimeters long. Snail weighing almost one kilogram is something new. This record-breaking snail lives in countries with tropical climates, and in some of them it's considered a pest of crops. Its homeland is the territory of Tanzania and Kenya. The giant African land snail has a slimy mottled brown or light cream body with two pairs of tentacles. The snail's bottom and tentacles are its sensory organs, thanks to which it's able to distinguish objects at a distance of one centimeter. The giant African land snail has no hearing. An interesting fact is that the giant African land snail is a hermaphrodite and is capable of self-fertilization if its population is low. When mating, bilateral fertilization is possible, provided the snails have the same size. Otherwise, the larger individual X is the female. Giant Boar an adult boar usually weighs less than 100 kilograms, so many people fearlessly venture into wild boar habitats to hunt these wild pigs. But sometimes hunters encounter real surprises – abnormally large wild boars. Fate had a special surprise for amateur hunter Peter Maskimov, who shot the largest wild boar in the world in the winter of 2015. <laughs> It happened in the Sverdlovsk Oblast in Russia. According to Peter, he managed to do it with the second shot. The first bullet only slightly grazed the beast. When the man saw the weight of the trophy, he couldn't believe his eyes. The weight of the killed boar was 550 kilos, and the animal was almost two meters tall. It should be said that Peter was very lucky, not only about the trophy. It's good that the shot was accurate, because if such a giant had been only wounded, it would have taken vengeance on the hunter. Polar bear. Of all bear species, the polar bear is the largest one. The polar bear can weigh about 700 kilograms and reach 3 meters in length. But as always, there are special exceptions. Such was the bear that was shot in Alaska in 1960. When two hunters measured the trophy, they couldn't believe their eyes. The bear weighed more than a ton. What's more, as the hunters said, when the shot animal straightened up on its hind legs in agony, it was almost 3.5 meters tall. It was a good thing the hunters had managed to take down such an animal because polar bears are considered one of the most dangerous animals on the planet. Surviving a fight with such a monster is almost impossible. What animal scares people as much as bears? Probably a snake. Especially venomous and large snakes seem to be creepy. As for the largest venomous snake, it's the notorious king cobra. Some individuals can exceed 5 meters in length. Nevertheless, king cobras are far away from the record-breaking snake. Interestingly, this record holder is not an anaconda, as many of you might think. At the moment, the largest snake in the world, the data of which is confirmed, is a female reticulated python. The name of the champion is Medusa, and it's had its place in the Guinness Book of Records since 2011. It would be strange if Medusa was not in the Guinness Book of Records, as it's 7.67 meters long and weighs 158.5 kilograms. By the way, as for anacondas, according to the official data, the largest one caught reached 5.21 meters in length. The difference is obvious. Medusa lives in the Full Moon Productions Park in Kansas. The record-breaking snake's diet consists of rabbits, pigs, and deer, which are carefully presented to it by park staff. Cassius. Pigs and deer are part of the diet of another reptile from this episode, the saltwater crocodile. Only unlike Medusa, saltwater crocodiles can eat almost any animal. They're apex predators in their habitat and the largest terrestrial predators in general. Even polar bears are inferior to saltwater crocodiles in size, as these reptiles regularly grow to five or more meters in length and often weigh over a ton. But even among such giants, there are supergiants. Cassius is one of them. To be more precise, it is the largest of them all. This male is listed in the Guinness Book of Records as the largest crocodile kept in captivity. Its length is 5.48 meters and weight is 1,300 kilograms. The figures are just incredible. 
it's even good that such a giant is kept in captivity, because in the wild, saltwater crocodiles often attack people and pets. It's frightening to even imagine what you feel when such a colossal reptile with sharp teeth rushes at you. And finally, an animal that can be called the record breaker among all record breakers. This is the blue whale. Everyone knows that the blue whale is the largest animal in the world at the moment, but far fewer people know that the blue whale is the largest animal of all time in general. At least it's the largest one in terms of weight. No one has ever surpassed it. The length of a blue whale is 30 to 33 meters, which is equivalent to the height of a 10-story building, and its weight can exceed 150 tons. For comparison, the African bush elephant, the largest terrestrial animal in the world, weighs about 6 tons, which means one blue whale is as heavy as 25 elephants. Body parts of the blue whale are also astonishing. For example, its tongue weighs 4 tons, its heart can weigh about a ton, and it's considered the largest one in the animal world, and the volume of a blue whale's lungs exceeds 3,000 liters. This is about a thousand times more than the volume of human beings. Curiously enough, not everything in the blue whale is so huge. For example, the diameter of its throat is only 10 centimeters, so there's no way a blue whale can swallow a human. But it doesn't need it. Blue whales are friendly creatures that eat only krill and plankton. At the same time, it's a man who's considered the main enemy of the blue whales because, due to hunting and poaching, the number of the giants leaves much to be desired. There are about 10 to 25,000 individuals left in the world, so the blue whale is considered an endangered species. We can only hope that one day the situation will change for the better. Speaking of giants, it's impossible not to mention the giraffe, the tallest animal today. But these creatures that look cute at first glance conceal power and strength, which is better not to face. The tallest animal in the world. At the moment, giraffes are only found in the savannas of Africa. Is it possible to find an animal higher up there or anywhere else? I doubt it. After all, giraffes are the tallest land creatures on the planet. Males can reach 6 meters in height, while females are usually a little shorter. Males weigh on average about a ton. Their heart alone often weighs more than 10 kilograms. Do you think that with such a size they're unlikely to be attacked? In general, that's the case, but anything can happen in the world, and some animals dare to compete with a giraffe. For example, during a watering hole. Tourists in Kruger National Park in the Republic of South Africa managed to film an incident which was unusual for them, but quite normal for such an environment. The video itself starts from the moment when the giraffe is already trying to get up from the ground. Apparently, this strange behavior of the animal attracted tourists. So the giraffe wants to get on its feet and still falls down. Then it becomes clear why it does not succeed. A huge crocodile comes into view, and it fangs into the victim's leg. Desperate attempts to escape from the jaws of such a large predator could never succeed. According to the guide of the tour group, People noisily supported the giraffe's attempts to free itself and were very worried about it. Eventually, the reptile let the exhausted giraffe go. However, the giraffe could not move because of its leg injury. Unfortunately, the giraffe was still waiting for a sad outcome. Apparently, fate really can't be avoided. It miraculously escaped from a crocodile but fell into the jaws of another predator. It turns out that all this time the lions were watching the fight closely. And as soon as the crocodile crawled away, the lions immediately went to work. The next day, there was nothing left of the giant. Giraffe and Lion Lions are probably the only serious enemies of adult giraffes. Most often, they attack when the giraffe is lying, standing, or clumsily bent, drinking water, or nibbling on grass. By the way, young giraffes are also hunted by other predators, such as leopards and hyenas. One must remember that a giraffe can strike in such a way that the attacking predator's bones are broken. Therefore, attacks on giraffes pose a significant risk to predators, and they need to soberly assess their abilities and strength if they don't want to be trampled. The footage captures a striking picture. We should thank the tourists who managed to film this in one of the nature reserves in South Africa. One adult giraffe and five lions. Will the spotted creature survive in such an uneven fight? Two of the lions got hold of the giraffe's hind legs, and a third jumped on its back. Their goal was to get the prey to the ground as quickly as possible. Try as they might, the big cats did not succeed. 
the giraffe walked calmly with such a dangerous load. By the way, eyewitnesses emphasized that the giraffe had been defending itself for five hours. No wonder that the lions had simply run out of patience. The giraffe came out practically without injuries, not counting the wound on its limbs. The neck, on the other hand, was unharmed. By the way, it's not particularly surprising. The giraffe's skin is so thick that the Maasai people make shields from it, able to protect them from the attacks of various predators. Do giraffes have any obvious disadvantages? How else do they behave with different predators? And what else interesting things can be said about these long-necked creatures? Stay tuned to find out all the details, because it's only going to get more interesting. This video shows a lion walking past two giraffes. You can see how the predator deliberately walks around them to get behind them. It tries to sneak up on the herbivores in order to attack them, but the mother giraffe is also aware that the animal is not harmless. It turns around and looks directly at the lion. It doesn't hesitate long and rushes out to attack. The predator grabs the female by the leg, but it manages to kick the king of the jungle back. The female and its cub then try to flee, but the lion catches the baby giraffe almost immediately. Unfortunately, these giraffes were unlucky. The mother lost its cub, and the cub became a victim of the big cat. But this does not always happen. Giraffes have very good eyesight, hearing, and sense of smell, which allows them to spot danger in advance. Of course, their large stature also contributes to good visibility. Giraffes can see their tall relatives up to a kilometer away. Look how small the lioness seems compared to the giraffe. And you can't tell that lions are not big animals. The big cat catches up with the giraffe and fails at the coveted jump. The lioness falls on its back and ends up under the giraffe's hooves. It should be mentioned that giraffes can run up to 60 km per hour and maintain a speed of 50 km per hour at a distance of several kilometers. However, the highest land animal can move actively only on a hard surface. Giraffes bypass the marshy ground and rivers. Here, a group of lions take turns attacking the giraffe. They try to knock it down by digging their sharp teeth into the legs of the spotted animal, but all this looks pointless. Clearly, the lion's efforts are in vain. The giraffe easily manages to throw off the pesky cats, though it doesn't try to hit the exact target with its legs. The big cat has wandered into the wrong territory. At the very least, it has no business being here alone. If it had decided to attack, in all likelihood, it would have already been on the ground, badly injured. Notice how wary the giraffes are. By the way, how do such tall animals even live? They're social animals. The previous footage just shows them sticking together. Giraffes live in loose, open towers in which the number of individuals can vary from 10 to 20. Individuals can join or leave the tower at will. Giraffe and Hyena once again, South Africa's famous Kruger National Park. Tourists witness an attempted attack by hyenas on a baby giraffe. The poor baby had a broken leg. Because of the injury, the cub fell behind its mother, and a clan of hyenas began to approach it. For them, a weak and wounded animal is something like a holiday, just too easy prey. One of the hyenas came very close but did not dare to attack because the cub's mother was nearby. When the mother moved away, the predators made another attempt. Two hyenas jumped out of the bushes. The cub was very frightened and ran on three legs. The female noticed what was happening and rushed to meet it. It arrived very timely and scared off the predators. The hyenas, seeing it, reluctantly retreated and settled down in the shadows nearby. Interestingly, giraffes do almost everything standing up. Of all mammals, giraffes probably have one of the least need for sleep – just ten minutes to two hours a day. Two hours a night to get a good night's sleep. I wish we could do the same. They stand to rest, but they can also sleep lying down. To do this, giraffes twist their long necks and place them on their hips, but they do so when they're sure that there's no danger nearby. And if they want to sleep and can't lie down, they'll stand up. They have such powerful neck muscles that their head can be held upright in their sleep. When they drink water, they spread their front legs wide enough to be able to bend down sufficiently. Interestingly, they may not drink for several weeks because giraffes satisfy their need for water primarily with food. If a giraffe does drink, it can drink up to 35 to 40 liters of water at a time. Not only do giraffes have long necks and powerful legs, for example, an adult giraffe's tongue can be a half a meter long. It's muscular, hard, and coarse. 
Nature made it so that it would not hunt giraffes to grab and tear leaves of the thorny acacia tree. This, by the way, is a favorite delicacy of the herbivorous giants. Giraffe and giraffe. Let's get back to the fights. Have you ever seen two giraffes fight? Although they're very peaceful animals, they can still get into fights sometimes. Here, two angry giraffes are swinging their long necks in an attempt to hit each other. The neck is the most powerful weapon. The goal of the fight is to knock the opponent down. During the fight, the rivals also use their horns. Here it is. One of the giraffes swings but does not hit its opponent. It's skillfully dodged. Trying not to get hit by its opponent, the giraffe can't stay on its feet and falls down. Giraffe and men. Generally, giraffes are very harmless animals. But what is it? In an African nature reserve, a giraffe chased an off-roader with tourists, thereby really scaring them. Just look at how fast the herbivore catches up with the car. Gradually, the animal manages to catch up with the vehicle and even outrun it. After overtaking the off-roader, the animal stops and turns around to see the passengers. It seems that these people are now on the giraffe's blacklist. Luckily, it didn't start hitting everyone with its huge neck. That's all, guys. Would you like to see giraffes in person? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you later.